one often hears that, you know, I fly over the planet every day, it's practically empty. How can we say that there's a problem? And it's because a city or a state like Texas is just where we keep our bodies. The land that's actually supporting us, the ecosystems that are doing all the heavy lifting, are located elsewhere. So uh, if you look at Vancouver, there's uh, two and a half million people here. But the land that supports them is in Saskatchewan, Alberta, Texas, Europe, the tropics, and so on and so forth. So what globalization has done, and in fact just trade generally, but most specifically globalization, is enabled concentrated populations to extend their ecological footprints all over the planet. And the simple fact of the matter is that most cities such as Vancouver or Los Angeles or wherever you're from have an ecological footprint in the hundreds to a thousand times larger than the city area itself. That, that's how much land outside the city's boundary is needed to sustain current levels of production and consumption within the city.